Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933 here, and in this video we're going to take a look at the similarities and differences between the CCNP switch exam, which is the newer of these switching exams, and the BCMSN exam, which carries over to the new track but expires on July 31st. Just in case you're not familiar with the changes coming to the CCNP and the July 31 deadline and which exams carry over and which ones don't, please do a Google search or a YouTube search even on CCNP July 2010 and a video that I created for that uh, that's gotten some excellent reviews will come up and you'll be able to catch up on these changes. Now what I'm about to read you I usually don't read but it does tie into the video. I do personally guarantee that you'll pass your NP exams before that July 31st deadline including the BCMSN exam with my immediately downloadable NP study packages. If for any reason, and we're just about to discuss what any reason means, you don't beat that July 31st deadline, you'll get a fully downloadable CCNP study package free for any of the new exams that you want it for. Uh, please note this offer is valid only on my CCNP study packages and on no video course bearing my name, likeness, or voice. And now you're thinking, well, that's fantastic, but why is he reading that to me? Well, there is a reason, and it, this is natural. Anytime you start studying for an exam and you know that it will carry over to the next track, which the BCMSN does, but you also know that you've got to pass it before July 31st, you do have the little thought in your head that says, you know, well, what happens if I don't pass it? You know, is that time wasted? Because a lot of things happen. We've all been there. You have a personal emergency, takes up a lot of your time, uh, some kind of real life intrusion. Summer also happens. Uh, yeah, and I know what happens to the study rates in June and July. I've been doing this for a long time. It's human nature, nothing wrong with it. I'm probably out there at the beach with you. But for whatever reason, what happens if you don't pass the BCMSN by July 31st? Was the time wasted? that you put in on studying for that exam now that it's expired? Well, in a word, no. It's absolutely not wasted, and I'll tell you exactly why. There is a tremendous amount of material that is common to the BCMSN exam and to the SWITCH exam. Now, if you haven't watched it yet, I did a video similar to this comparing the new CCNP route exam to the BSCI exam, and there's a lot of common material there, but there's even more common material between the two switching exams. Let's take a look at just a little bit of it, because if you've even looked at any BCMSN study guide, uh, this is going to be familiar to you. On both exams, you're going to have to know your switch memory components, the physical makeup of the switch, uh, commands to monitor that, VLAN configuration, slightly important, right? You learned about some of that in your CCNA studies. Trunking, I mean, there are a lot of details to trunking, and you're going to have to know those for either exam. Uh, ether channels, a big topic on both exams. And by the way, I've got a CCNA level ether channel webinar uh, on YouTube and on my website, so make sure to check our tutorials page for that. Uh, spanning tree protocol, one detail after another, right? I mean, it's important details, but there's a lot to it. Well, those details didn't change from the BCMSN exam to the switch exam. They're going to be the same, and that includes root guard and BPDU guard and uplink fast and all those other great features. Switch security features, you got to know those for both exams. Layer 3 switching, there is a little more layer 3 switching on the new exam, the switch exam, than there is on the BCMSN, which I'm glad to see, but still the basics remain the same. You've got to know how to create an SVI uh, and work with layer 3 switches. VLAN security, you're going to see that on both exams. Seriously, if I had to put a percentage on the material that made the cut from the BCMSN exam to the switch exam, I would literally put it at about 90%. There is very little that you would study for the BCMSN that would be a waste, and I mean very little, because there's actually some network modeling on both. I'm not saying that modeling is exactly the same, but again, what you learn in the BCMSN exam, if for whatever reason you don't pass by July 31st, all of that study that you put in is still worth your while because much of it is going to go right into the switch exam. So as I'm always telling students, and you know what I'm going to say if you've listened to any of my videos before, don't lose that success momentum. Keep rolling. If you're even thinking about taking the BCMSN exam at the time of the making of this video, which is the end of April, you've still got a couple of months to go, right? May, June, and July. And again, go ahead and put that time in, and if something happens, 
and interrupts your study, everything you studied for the BCMSN is still a good study for the CCNP switch exam. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this particular video. Again, make sure to come out to the tutorials page. We are going to have a page dedicated to the new exam up very shortly, and also we've got that Ether Channel webinar for you to watch for free. Thanks again for watching this video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933.